Hello everyone and welcome to the SCG oh, yeah. Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside the ever beautiful, evergreen and super pro mind oh, yeah, that's of... Right. Uh, Beautiful yeah. mind, beautiful yeah, mind. The beautiful yeah. mind. Every, week, every time I cast my title gets longer and longer. I'm yeah, quite, yeah, I'm quite yeah, happy yeah. about this. It, yeah, this is the only place where like your work title like just increases exponentially. Yeah. Or maybe not exponentially, linearly, but increases all the time. Yeah, it's a uh I can't remember the math term, the econ term, man. I dumped every exponential e- or expo- linear growth. Yeah, linear growth by an uh, infinite growth. <laughs> it's <laughs> like um it just keeps growing, yeah. right? There's no uh there's yeah, no diminishing returns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no diminishing returns. Uh, all right. So we are watching the game between Ericsson here on the. Oh no, switch sides. You gotta switch them sides. Let me take that, take that out for a while. Uh, so it's Wee Kyung on the left and Ericsson on the right. Uh, let's get that fixed. Fix it. Let's just restart the cast then. Oh, we're not live. No, we are live, of course. Oh, we're live. We're okay. recording also. So hey, this man. is going to go into the YouTube video, oh. which is kind of weird. What's up, guys? And fixed. All right. So we came on the left and Ericsson on the right. I have no idea what these two players are playing. But it looks like we Kyung is playing a uh, band company. No, Blue White Spirits. Blue White okay. Spirits, okay. And uh, Ericsson might be on the black white control. No, okay. So it looks like a blue green. Um, Possibly a Bant It could be Bant Looks like it is for us Yeah but he's hand. only got like Blue and green uh, Lands right now And Turn 2 Has a play Which is Jay's Baby Jay's Okay So it's a I think it's a Company Definitely a company deck right? Yeah, so yeah. Gotta, gotta figure out What type of company it is Uh uh, all all, all my comments is that people are still sandbagging the spirit deck quite hard. I would be quite upset if I was a spirit player by now. Cause Why? You, was, you know, the, like you bought spell colors for pretty expensive. You know, they're not doing so well in the PTs, the GPs. And then, you know. Yeah. And then, well. like, all you have are like the tentacle hentai stuff. You think you <laughs> it's kind of disappointing, I would say, <laughs> if I was one of them. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I think, it, I, I actually think that that can do quite well. I, you know, yeah, I yeah. think it can catch people by surprise uh, because people just don't play with it. Oh, wow. Meta Reshaper. Playing a, yeah, Meta Reshaper. So it's an Eldrazi wow, deck. Another one. Double Meta Reshaper. No, that's going to be hit by a Void Shatter. Uh, so yeah, you know, uh, Ericsson's got to just run. I think he's just got to run threats yeah, out yeah. onto the board, right? Uh, it like, seems that if you run into two counter spells, you're playing dimensional infiltrator. Yeah, uh, it's probably feels like some. It feels like the old iteration of the red blue Eldrazi ram, but uh, yeah. now with white. So it's kind of like a weird white mixture. blue. No, I I think it's it's more like white blue spirits. Just that you have got like main board. Even the white blue spirits had main board counter spells. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. but maybe not void shatters, but definitely clash of wheels and uh, some other spells. Yeah, arms um, extension is a is is a good tempo card, tempo swing. Mm. Uh, but if you're flashing in dimensional infiltrators, feels like your hand isn't very good. Like feels like more counter spells in your hand. That's right. Yeah. Um. Uh, but there are some counter spells in Wee Kyung's hand. It looks like what negates and uh. Looks like another void shatter. I think. Oi, not well. If it was a void shatter, you would have used it last turn. Yeah. Maybe. He had three. He had four mana up last turn, so you would have taken away the um the, what's this guy's name? Meta ah, uh, no. Nisa? Nisa? No, not oh, Nisa. Oh, no, wait. Um, what? Yeah, no. That guy, the 3 2 dude that investigates every time. You, I don't know what's his yeah, name. Yeah, everybody. We're all brain farting. We apologize yeah, exactly. for this. Tyler Striker, yeah, right? Tyler Striker. Tyler Striker. Yeah, Tyler Striker yeah, that's that's right. the card. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what? I want to see. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts when you've gone one week into uh, national service and like yeah. your brain just melts. Hey man, away from all, all I play is more than the standard cards. Uh, hard to remember from time to time. Hey, Jeffrey is on the stream. Hello, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that two people in the audience are running your deck, which was featured on Channel Fireball, Mister Truth or Dare. Uh, oh. so yeah, just go to CFB and look for one of those five zero decks of the day. But we'll feature it later on. Oh, Unsubstantiate yeah, going to yeah. hit the Tyler's Tracker. Ah, Ding. why? Uh, psh, maybe if he has a negate in hand, I think it's pretty good. It's a good tempo swing. Yeah, uh, your opponent but, might uh, want to run his character. I mean, if he plays character company, he hmm. might want to try and run it into it. 
Yeah, but he doesn't know. And the clock's pretty steady on uh, Wee Kyung's side. Now they unsubstantiate the Tyler Striker. The, I think. Yeah, Tyler Striker de- deals a lot of damage. And now that, you know, Ericsson has to recast the Tyler Striker, which means that he's, you know, uh, not being able to cast any collector company from hand. If he did, if he does have it, I believe he does. Yeah, and he doesn't uh, have to play around Jomoka's command because, you know, there's no there's white. There's no white right now, right? So, like, I, I guess at Wee Kyung's thought process is like, I think this guy has nothing. So I'm going to just try and tempo him, unsubstantiate, mm. bait out a good spell. If he doesn't have, he could recast Tyler Striker. He's pretty ahead on the board. Yeah. Uh, and right now, Wikion has like a three-turn clock, which uh, isn't very fast, but, you know, not not the slowest clock. You know, Ericsson just has to, re- Ericsson has to reply somehow. Uh, but it doesn't, I, you know, I don't think you have any form of flyers. He okay, wow, he left yeah. his stuff on defense. He's not going to attack. That's, That's strange. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to arm some stand shield and, yeah, exactly. and then you don't attack, it's kind of like a weird, weird play. play yeah. Uh, he could have unsubstantiated at end step. Yeah. I think that would have been uh, you know, a better play. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you're going to go this route, um, well. It feels like... I don't think he makes a land drop because it looks like Kyung has a land in his hand. Yeah, it's a bot down. So... I don't know. Maybe he, maybe it was a misplay or miscalculation. Could be. And he's Possible, double blocking. Uh, well, he has the um. What's that? He has uh. He might have Ojita's command. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. No. Yeah, but if you unsubstantiated, I guess you you still if you had Ojita's command in hand, you want to unsubstantiate at the end of turn. So on his upkeep, when then you attack, can, then you can Ojita's command and gain full value and yeah, tempo swing from that. Right. Okay, so uh, the two dimensional infiltrators will trade off with uh, the giant that is a Tyler's tracker, but uh, I happy. don't know. I don't think that's a good trade. Yeah, I, I think I think that's pretty bad if you plan to do and you didn't attack, you're unsubstantiated, and you have no, no follow up, and you double block into yeah, the Tyler's tracker as well. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I think you're falling behind quite a bit. Uh, Nisa's pilgrimage here uh, is going to see a negate. Uh, but I think that negate is yeah. a little too early. I think yeah. it's fine for Ericsson to have his lands. He will be able to activate some of his um, his uh, lumbering falls. Yeah, with uh, the silver advocate, the game looks like it will close out next turn if uh, Wee Kyung doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, oh man, I wonder why Ericsson didn't cast his silver advocate though. That was strange. Oh, uh, Right. I, I don't know. Uh, Would you have cast your silver advocate instead? I think he's going for the more defensive oh. play. It looks like he he was baiting for the attack step and then uh looking at what his opponent might have. Like he wanted to see if he has a negate or any form of other counter spells. Oh uh, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe. It feels like if you're playing that way, it feels like the, oh, man, that's the top that process. Uh Drox call the defender guy. The one that gives zero three to all your creatures. I don't know. I don't play standard. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> and they're <laughs> picking the cards very fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. hey, man. You, you, you take what you can get. what happens when we get cast in. Cast, get out. I want hey. my, I want my hey. instead. No, the my en- playing. The entertainment value I give is too high. <laughs> you just take it. You gotta take it as it comes, man. <sighs> okay, so it looks like Wee Kyung's in a very tough spot. Yeah. yeah. Man, looks it's rough, it's man. He doesn't have the... Okay, so he's obviously keeping up the land to, uh, you know, keep up spells, I suppose. But yeah, next turn, oh yes, uh, all Ericsson has to do is just drop his... Uh, uh, what is that? Silver Advocate. I believe he has a Silver Advocate. Yeah. Mm. Alright, okay, looks so... Like it, looks like it. Alright, so it is the... Uh, dro- I think Drog's called Shieldmate or something like that. Whatever it is. Anyway, it's a uh, 2-3 with Flash. Yeah. Uh, gives all your other creatures plus zero plus three, and uh, he will trade off with that matter reshaper, and that's going to wow. get Ericsson a uh, elvish visionary, which is fantastic, which allows him to draw an extra card. So I guess we can could play to like a planet outburst. It looks like his deck might play. Like yeah, if but if he spirits, didn't put the port town the last turn, he's yeah. not going to be able to cast it next turn. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Uh, psh- and even then, a planet outburst is not going to help. Oh, man. Oh, uh, okay, part the water veil. So, Ericsson's going to take another turn and I, I think that's it because uh, yeah, he's got activate two. activate the Lumbering Falls. Yeah, and exactly. Go for 
Uh, does he have enough mana to activate both? No, he's only no, got he's enough mana to activate, activate one. one. But it's more than enough. It's four, four. Uh, lumbering force is three plus four, right? Seven. Yeah. So that's definitely lethal just from a lumbering force. No, and that's five. Da- that's only five damage. It's only five. Yeah. Well, well if he's got the silver advocate, I believe he has a silver advocate in hand. So all he has to do is cast the silver advocate, swing him with a lumbering force, and that's it. That's game. But oh, no. No. Okay. So he's just gonna go for two damage. He's gonna go oh. for another part of water veil. So he's going to take it slow, and now he can finish off his opponent. Uh, since you know, Wee has no answer to that, then yeah, I, he won't I have think, the answer to the next. I think on Wee Kyung's side, there was quite a value to you not know, concede because now you know your opponent doesn't just play one part of Water Veil. Because you know, I don't think you see that yeah. card very often, and seeing two in your opponent's hand means that. Uh, runs, I don't know, it runs a very kinky kind of place now. It's a very legacy, well, f- not conceding. Uh, there was uh, there was an article a long, long time ago where uh, they talked about like why you shouldn't just concede and I do not like players when they, you know, they look at their hand and they know the jig is up, like they just concede. Because you, A, you can bluff your opponent because, yep. you know, you just play mind games with your opponent, you, you, you draw the card... You know, you've got to put on a bit of theatrics. Yeah, man. Like, and pretend like, to tap your mala. Like, mm. you know, scratch your head. Like, mm, maybe. Like, pass the turn. And then confidently pass the turn. And your opponent will be thinking, oh, snap. He might have a, I don't know. No, you got, you got a mind game. You got to take it to the next level. So, what you should do is like, pretend to tap your lens. Then do the finger counting thing where people always do. Like, oh, the yeah, count yeah, damage. Yeah, then yeah, it's okay. like, whisper to him. Whisper under your breath. Like, if I do this... I, and then he won't win but I'll win <laughs> and then you pass the turn happily and then he'll be like oh my oh, god oh man what does he have up his sleeves actually it's nothing uh, the other thing the other reason why you do not concede is because you want to get more information from your yeah. opponent uh, when you play you know more eternal formats like uh, Legacy Vintage uh, you know every single thing that your opponent yeah. does it choreographs something if he lays you know even if he lays like a fetch land and then chooses not to fetch that also you know tells you what he might have in hand for example if he doesn't want to fetch there's a good there's a good chance that he doesn't have enough lands in hand um yeah. and so forth and so on so uh, you know hits up play there by weekend he understands that you know he's now he opponent yeah. now he knows his opponent has like multiple parts of the water veils which needs to be addressed uh probably by more negates yeah. Uh, but Ericsson they're probably going to take out the part of Water Veils because yeah. it's not if very good against uh, Weekend. It feels very deck. slow. Exactly. Uh, against this matchup, it feels like Weekend just had a bad hand. And Ericsson didn't get a lot of intels. He just saw like a whole bunch of counter spells, two dimensional infiltrators. And, uh, neg- and yeah, main port yeah, negates. Yeah, main which means negates. That uh, you know, your part of Water Veil ain't that fantastic. But I don't like Wee Kiong, uh, you know, earlier earlier on Wee Kiong went to negate uh, something pretty small. So I The new Nisa's pilgrimage, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have just let the Nisa's pilgrimage resolve. Uh having negated one of Ericsson's uh part of Water Veil. Yeah, I think I'd definitely be more worried more if he I mean you you wouldn't have you probably wouldn't have guessed that your opponent plays part of Water Veil, but you haven't seen Carl's Collector Company plays Elvish Visionaries. Exactly, and then, you know, if he's Tyler casting... Striker, and he might have even Silver Advocate, okay, so there's, like, a quite a decent probability that he plays Collector Company. I wouldn't have gone for it. Yeah, exactly, you know, just you just let him develop his bot. His bot is so much bigger than yours. Just yeah. let it be. He's got the lands, and it's okay, yeah. you know. So, uh, Drogs Call Shume. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank Mr. you, Jeffrey. But Mr. that was, Jeffrey like, five Chan. minutes ago. Yeah, he typed it. I, I saw I it. I know. Yeah, yeah. then yeah. tell me, man. My head... Is not facing the <laughs> other screen, no, man, which uh, has the chat. This, okay, this I'm gonna bring the uh, no. Okay, I can't bring the other screen this, around. This, no, man. This is the next meta game, games. man. I saw it was Jeffrey. I was trying to tilt him online because I'm <laughs> such a bad player. I'm <laughs> sorry, Jeffrey. Like I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I saw it, and then Mick actually said the actual text of the drop ball. Oh uh, no, no, but I got it yeah. wrong. It's each other creature gains oh, right. plus zero plus one, and not plus zero plus three, because g- giving other creatures plus zero plus three is a broken. Uh, the one that does give other creatures plus zero plus three is Spirit of the Hunt. Uh, yeah. But it gives werewolves and wolves plus zero plus three. That one. But that's, quite a, that's, quite a, good. that's a horrible card, man. That's, ah. a, that's a horrible deck. Like, but I, mean, I know, they, I know they could, somebody's playing it. They could it, have made like. werewolves much stronger. But here we go into game two. Uh, looks like a quick start. Traverse the Oven Traverse Wall. going to get a basic island. He's going to turn on... Well, he still needs his colorless land, so uh, surprised yeah. that he did not look for a waste, which means that he already he has, has it in his hand, a Yavimaya Coast, yeah. yeah. He's probably got a Yavimaya Coast, especially since he's got... Um, yeah, especially well, since he's got he, the... But uh, he passed the turn, he didn't lay the land. 
He did, he did. He laid the Oh, he laid the Yeah, he laid the island. Yeah. So probably go Yavi Mayakos and then drop the matter reshaper. Oh, not Yavi Mayakos, but uh, Woodland... I don't know. The Oh, going to Clash of Wheels. That, that's okay. Yeah, that's I think that's okay. Threat. Yeah. I mean, there's a two for one and you had a decent counter spell. There's no way to play around it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and now if Ericsson's going to go for... Well, he's probably got a collector company in hand. Oh, uh, at least he's got to have a collector company in his deck. Okay, Hadron Archive here. I mm. think if you are on that plan, you might want to stifle that, but he doesn't. Uh, Rattle Chains is the draw for Wee Kiong, which... Uh, very strange. And yeah, see. very slow start. Yeah, I think Wee Kiong, unless he's got Archangel ever seen, I think that would be one of the saving graces for well, this it feels, matchup. It feels actually very weird because you are playing Rattle Chains and you play like Dimensional Infiltrators and you keep a hand without Muslim Wanderer. I mean, you, don't exp- you might not expect to aggro your opponent out, but I don't think in the long run you'll be beating... Ericsson through a long game because mm. it seems like every card he draws is more valuable than uh, Wee Kiong's. Yeah. So, and I don't he know. just void shattered a. Uh, I guess we have to see what Wee Kiong's end game is. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to tell right now. Well, uh, if it's only 2 1 flyers, then it's uh, it's, it's going to be a bit tough, I think. Yeah, and I guess on the on Wee Kiong's fortune, Ericsson isn't casting a lot of things without his Hedron alignment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, um, now yeah. he's got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five nine mana. If he le- drops another land, that's it. He's gonna yeah. have um, what's his name? Uh, Ulamog on the table. Hey man, if you cast Ulamog like that, we gotta play the MLG sound, man. The pa 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 pa. Air horns everywhere. Okay, hey but man. three mana is probably gonna be a uh, uh, Nisa's right. pilgrimage. Oh, okay. That's right. Uh, and oh man, we can just let it go. It's okay. I yeah, think, yeah, I think uh, fine. just letting your opponent ramp. I don't like him giving up the um. The Hadron Archives, though, I really don't. I I think it needs to be uh, Hadron Archives because they they ramp you and then later in the game they draw you extra cards. Uh, what is that? Oh, Dimensional Infiltrator. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now he's swinging for four a turn. He's got a Void Shatter. So he, I I think Wee Kyung's plan is just to get in the two drop and then just, yeah, like just ride it to victory. Yeah. Uh, I believe the deck should be running a Muslim Wanderer and yeah, probably Spell Quellers. Yeah, you just play the old good old spirits, right? And oh, put yeah, most right. of your most of your counter spells in the sideboard because mm. now it feels like he kept this hand with like double counter spells, one rattle chain, and he's he has to wait until like turn five or turn four to cast his rattle chain. Uh, yeah, so which feels so bad. A, if a you're bit yeah. slow la, but uh, you know, no turn two you can just drop your rattle chain. Yeah, right? I, I guess. But he was playing around like the like he kept his mana for uh, the clash of wills or the matter reshaper and like the void shatters and stuff. Yeah, that's right. No, but he had to. He yeah, was yeah, forced he to, to play the yeah. clash of wills. So. Um, you know he could have just played the uh, the rattle chains on turn two. So yeah, put the pressure on the boy. Your opponent's just laying lands, casting uh, ram spells and hedron alignments. Yeah, just I keep guess, bashing yeah, for like just two bashing for two, man. You <laughs> kept, <laughs> yeah, keep the clock up. Uh, right. Though Ericsson seems like he's drawing a lot of ram spells and no ammo. Uh, yes, it's quite a tough uh, game for him. So I. Man, uh, you gotta start man. cracking your. Yeah, I think it is now this time. At least crack one. Right? Yeah. And so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lands on the battlefield. So if you've got thirteen mana, you can cast an Emraku at this point already. Yeah, I guess he's waiting to cast like a Ulamog. It looks, it feels more like a Ulamog than an Emraku because you don't, you have like some form of creatures, but it doesn't feel like you can ramp up to a graveyard, uh, delirium like the good. Good graveyard count for like a easy Emraku cast. More mm-hmm. like it feels like you just cast a whole bunch of rams and go into a, like a Ulamog. Feels like it. Feels like yeah, it. Yeah, feels yeah, like yeah. It. That's 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 true. But uh, you know, he hey man, oh, he's casting the hentai tentacle thing. Oh, oh look, 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 look. Slime, slime. I think this is the point where you definitely have to fire one counter spell. Unsubstantiate, yes. At least one yeah. of the counter spell because this is going to beat you very, very hard, like very fast and yeah. very hard. Yeah, and if you're gonna tap out four mana. And he targets it already. If you've got a counter spell and another backup in your hand, I think you definitely go for it. Yeah. So, uh, possibly if you don't have anything, I know he's definitely got unsubstantiated. Just fire it off. Yeah, first. I think you just fire it off because you still get a tempo swing. Your opponent mm. doesn't have enough mana to. Em- he doesn't have anything to emerge with uh, Hedron Alignment 3 lands. Yeah. Uh, the worst, worst case scenario is a collector company, but you do. If you counter this spell, you definitely have the mana to counter a collector company as well. But at this point, I doubt Ericsson is playing collector company. Doesn't feel like yeah, it. Yeah, well, his deck looks like there's too many spells in it for it to be yeah, running. It, it company, looks like so a very uh, just like blue deck. green, yeah. uh, blue green like yeah. just Eldrazi Ram. 
Next thing you know, he'll try and cast a rally the ancestors with like nothing in the grave. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Feels like it now. It's so strange. <laughs> okay, wow, Void Shatter. Okay. Why do you have to pay five mana for it though? Uh, why do you have to pay four mana for I the Oh no no, it gets tapped. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Okay. So uh Void Shatter going to kill that um that giant tentacle monster thing. I think this I think this might be the play Ericsson was looking for because now your opponent is left with one planes. Ain't no path to exile in this format, man. Hey, you never know, man. Yeah, it looks like he's tapping his mana, gonna cast like a humongous tentacle monster again. No, it's a Ulamog. And he puts the force Oh, no, in no, front. it's uh, part of the water veil. Okay, so part of the water veil. Okay, so that Ulamog, sorry, the that tentacle monster thing. Oh, right, okay. Was a distraction? Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I kind of feel. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. Part of the water veil. I part guess part of the water veil was slightly more valuable if you could awaken. Oh, that's a pretty good draw. You know, <laughs> that's quite. That's nice. It's quite nice. handsome. No, he already had two of them, yeah. so he's going to swing in for twelve, and then the next turn he's going to kill. Those okay. Mikyong. All right. Okay. So yeah, the unsubstantiate. I think he could have used one of the unsubstantiates. Yeah, instead definitely. Of yeah, instead of the void shutter, because, uh, if you know you're going to be stuck on lands, like uh, that's going to be tough. But you know, the elder defin also did yeah. tap. His opponent's lands, which means that uh, uh you know, Wikiung. I think yeah, it tapped the four lands. Yeah, uh, so we can, uh, you, you can't do anything. I mean, yeah, you might as well just hard counter it, right? Yeah, it, but though I mean, we made we did make a wrong call. We thought that uh, Ericsson would board out the part of Water Veil. Yeah, 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 he did. Uh, but, he but, kept I mean, it in. I commented, but I have no idea what these two are really playing because like it's it's so so both are weird decks, right? Like <laughs> both are not. Uh, both, both weird are decks. Just correct me if I'm wrong, decks. viewers. But these are not the <laughs> usual decks we see. <laughs> Because we didn't really see what Wikion was playing. It doesn't look like standard blue white spirits. Ericsson is playing like, like blue, blue white red, green, uh, blue like green, blue green, Eldrazi green white, ram, blue green colorless, uh, Eldrazi ram ish thing. I don't know, and man. And it feel like it's gonna emerge because you don't see the, the there usual. There was no, but there was emerge I mean, like, the like the three mana, the the meta reshaper and the uh, 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 Elvish visionary. But I think if you're going for like a solid ram, you still want to play yeah, like Pilgrim's Eyes, right? Like I mean, you can you can use meta reshaper to block. No, but like meta reshapers draw you cards. Yeah, man. yeah, no, no they're, doubt. And they're three twos. For three mana, you get a three two. It's not like we're casting Emraku where I need like artifact creature in the graveyard easily. Yeah, that's true. So uh, though I still I'm still kind of curious what their deck actually holds. What was their like maximum potential of each of their decks? Because Ericsson just blew uh we came out with double part of Water Veil Awakens. That's I mean that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. That, that's like normal combo. Uh, uh, actually, Combo Wombo. actually, maybe was there a crush, crush of tentacles deck? Is is this it? No, I no. This is definitely not, not a crush of tentacles deck oh because that it. affects Ericsson so badly. Because uh, you crush of tentacles, okay, fine. Once you animate one of the lands and you crush of tentacles, okay, your opponent is very sad. Oh but yeah. But Ericsson is running, uh, you know, um, uh, what you call it, ramp in the form of Hadron Archives. Yeah. So I don't think you know this will be the uh that is this isn't that type of deck. Along with the, I mean, obviously the part of water veils. Yeah, you know, awaken. Exactly. Yeah, part of water veils is pretty good. Hey, hello, Oslo. So anyway, we are going for a short break. Uh, between rounds. Remember, there's three, uh, three rounds tonight for our weekly standard tournament. If you like what you watch, you can join us on Wednesday nights as well, where yeah. we do modern, where, where we get to see Cass. Yeah, uh, for the first time last week, I won my feature match for the oh, first you time. You won the feature yeah, match. I won, I won okay. against Alex, uh, and I top a PVDQ, which to everybody's surprise was like, not what the yeah, shit yeah. happened. Hey the man. world need to go and buy lottery. <laughs> you need to go. You hey know, man, scratch. it only proves that no matter how bad you are, if you put hard work, some some hard work. Maybe I guess. yeah, maybe yeah, you get you you'll get, get somewhere. There. You get somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, yeah, remember you can join us on Wednesday night for more than more than this weekend. We have conspiracy drafts going yeah. on the entire weekend. Uh, stuff that we do not stream. Uh, drafts which but I'm pretty more sure difficult that, to stream like. yeah but I'm sure that you guys will have a podcast right? it looks, looks yep. super sick to draft yep. show yep. and tell the <laughs> chalice of the void boy you know we are well we haven't recorded okay so we haven't recorded a podcast this week talking about a podcast yeah you can listen to our partners the power nine podcast at power nine podcast.com uh, but yeah we haven't recorded this week's right. episode because I've been delayed super super delayed uh, uh, I'm by, sorry. by uh, <laughs> the Singapore Army. Anyway, uh, not Singapore Army. The Singapore Civil Defense Force. 
Anyway, we're going for a short break. Uh, catch us for round two. In the meantime, I'm going to put on a replay. Hi, Ozozo. Um, What's up, bro? Yeah, that's oh, Cass. This yeah. is Mick. Uh, we're going to go for a short break. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Ciao.